Today I will be preparing a Southwestern Chili Con Carne. And I'm gonna tell you what goes into this dish. You will need the following. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one green bell pepper, large and diced, one red bell pepper, large and diced, a half a cup of red onion, large and diced, two and a half pounds of ground chuck, four tablespoons of chili powder, three tablespoons of ground cumin, two cloves of garlic minced, one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, three Roma tomatoes diced, one 15 ounce can of black beans drained and rinsed, two tablespoons of chopped fresh cilantro leaves. Okay, in the interest of time, I've already um, did my ground beef, so we have um, ground beef already done. So, I am going to cut my green pepper. And remember, we want these to be large diced, so. Mmm, they smell so good. You know, this is the time of the year where everything is really fresh and good. I'm cutting up our green peppers. And these are really nice chunks. Then we're gonna take some red pepper. Okay. And you know, if you want to take it up a couple of notches, you can use different types of pepper. Now they said the habanero peppers are really hot. I'm not too interested in having my food real hot because I want to be able to enjoy it. Not saying that you can't enjoy it hot, but for me, hot is uncomfortable. So I would rather have it more spicy than hot. And in these type of dishes, cumin really gives you that taste, that Southwestern flavor. So be generous with your cumin because with this recipe, it calls for like four tablespoons of um, chili powder which is hot and the cumin you got three tablespoons of that so okay and let's see what else all right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our oil going There we go. I'm gonna put our oil in. Just like that. Just enough to cover the bottom of your pan because you want to saute your veggies. So we're gonna put in our green and red peppers. And you know, having both of these peppers will make it also look really pretty okay so we got our green and red peppers in and we're going to do our tomatoes so we want to take the tops off good and we can also put our onions in and I love red onions I love red onions ok 
Okay, now I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. And I'm gonna move this over here. I'm telling you, it smells really good, really good. Okay, so. Thank you. Now I'm gonna wait a while before I put in the garlic because we don't want the garlic to be bitter. I'm gonna put our tomatoes in. Mmm, this is really smelling good. Let's see. I'll take that off. One more in here. And you know, this is the best time of the year because everything is fresh and plentiful in the supermarkets. So you don't have to use canned tomatoes this time of the year. Now, we're going to give this a little stir. There we go. And we're going to chop up our some cilantro. And what I'm going to do is just take a bunch off the top. Mmm, smells so good. And we're gonna coarsely chop our cilantro. Mmm, it smells really good. Okay, now we can put our cilantro in. Okay, and we'll give it another little stir. Mmm, smells so good. And again, I'm gonna let that cook up a little while because as I said, our ground beef is already done. So the next thing we'll do is we'll add our ground beef. Mm -hmm. And what I'm gonna do is lay that on the top so I can season it real well before I stir it up. Okay, now I'm going to put in our chili powder. Which it called for four tablespoons, so we're gonna be generous with the chili powder. Okay, then we were to put in some garlic powder, which 
I don't understand why, because we have fresh garlic. We're gonna put in some cayenne. And we're gonna put in some black pepper. And we're going to put in our cumin. You want to use a lot of cumin. That gives it that great taste. That great southwestern taste. Okay. Then we can put in our garlic, our fresh garlic. Now this is two cloves of fresh garlic. We're gonna stir this up first and then we'll add our beans because we don't want our beans to um, get mashed up. Mmm, smells so good. And you can see the tomatoes and the onions are getting really nice. All right. Mm hmm. This smells so good. Okay, now. The last thing we're going to add is our bean. Stir them up. Mmm, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now what you want to do is once you get all your ingredients in, you want to put a top on and let this simmer and occasionally stir for about 10 minutes. And it's all ready because again, we sauteed the veggies and as you can see the tomatoes are looking real good and we just want them to get done all the way through. So, I'm going to cover this up and take a break and let it continue to simmer. <laughs> 